South Korean Kim Jong-uk is now the third Christian missionary to be imprisoned in North Korea. He joins American Kenneth Bay, jailed in November 2012, and 75-year-old Australian John Short, arrested less than two weeks ago. The North Korean government paraded Kim, a Baptist missionary, before the media in Pyongyang Thursday, where he apologized for allegedly committing anti-state crimes. I was thinking of turning North Korea into a religious country and destroying its present government and political system. Eric Foley heads up the Colorado-based mission Seoul USA. He says the North Korean regime intends to use the three imprisoned missionaries as bargaining chips to secure concessions from the West. This is the beginning of what I think will be a sustained effort on the part of North Korea to try to achieve a certain kind of uh, aid and a certain kind of um, understanding with uh, populations around the world that they believe to be sympathetic. So they want to focus off of North Korea's own anti-Christian policies and onto the actions of these men. That's a misplaced perspective. North Korea's constitution guarantees religious freedom. So if official charges are announced, Christians are often falsely accused of spying or committing other crimes against the state. It should not be possible to claim both that there's freedom of religion in North Korea and that these men did something deceitful. Uh, what they did was very basic, which was the sharing of their faith. It's still unclear the kind of punishment Kim Jong-uk will face. He said he agreed to hold the press conference because he wanted his family to know he was okay. And while Kenneth Bay is reportedly ill, he continues to serve a 15-year sentence in a North Korea labor camp. Still unknown is the status of Australian John Short. Are these missionary arrests indicative of a new wave of persecution? This is not a new war on Christians. Uh, this is simply uh, the West being able to see what North Korean underground Christians have always known, which is that the Christian faith is not welcome in any form in North Korea. They have demonstrated once again that there is no backdoor for the gospel in North Korea. The only way the gospel can advance is at great personal cost. And so let's pray that God finds them faithful at this point in their imprisonment. Mark Martin, CBN News.